here's some poetic justice. Charges have been dropped as an ex-teacher marries a student she was accused of having sex with. Mm. She was accused of having sex okay. with? I have to ask a question. Please ask the question. Is she hot? I have to show you the photo yeah. for you to judge yourself. You guys remember the hot Forgive me. ass one in Utah? Letourneau, the Filipino kid. She's right. so hot, bro. That was a rape. So hot. <laughs> so hot. But that's her mugshot, though, right? That's her mugshot. Yeah. There's no potential. Dude, oh, you want to see the so yearbook hot. photo? Because <laughs> yeah, I, I bet you, like, you know, take take her to Sephora. Nah. And you know, take her to I Sephora. Mean, you gotta start off at the makeup store. Hey, for how long? I gotta take her to Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> take her to 24 hour fitness while you're at it. How many visits do I, I have like, to go you know, to? Who looks hot in their mugshot except that one guy with the, that one crazy. black guy with the green eyes? That's a really good point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he got a modeling point. career. She, she was in jail probably for a while, right? Before she got released, you said? Uh, well, no, no, no. It was more that uh, the charges were dropped. Uh, I thought Lindsay Lohan. Still had it together in a mugshot. Just, just so you know, just to, That's just true. to repost. But she was a little teary. Her, her mascara was running a little. I kind of like that. You, oh, you like that? Yeah, I'm kind of fucked he's, up he's, like he's, that. It's, like, <laughs> it's, the, it's the post choking face. I really like. I really enjoy that. Yeah, a lot. That's true. So a former teacher in the U.S. who was accused of having sex with a student has now married the student, and the charges against her have been dropped because they, they're married. That's all you have to do. Because it's true love, I guess. It is. It is. Was charged in February 2019 with having sexual contact with one of her male students at Sarkozy High School in Missouri. 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 <laughs> Missouri. How old Age of Missouri? consent, probably 13 in Missouri. Yeah, how old is this fool? Oh, rock, bro. It was high school, so it had to be anywhere from 14 to 18. Oh, now this guy's 18 and they're together? Would that be considered a high school sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it would be. <laughs> That's a good question. I think that's fair. Yeah, I think so. That's a good oh, we're high school sweethearts. Oh, cool. Unfortunately, we don't have any doctors on the show, so we can't answer the question. It's a great question. <laughs> high school sweet. The first one that blew up was Letourneau. Yeah. yeah that dude true. was 12. That yeah, was 12. He was, he was like Filipino, wasn't he? Yeah, it? that's junior high. When you saw that happen, were you like, man, he got himself a white girl? Well, so I read a lot about that. I read a lot about that. And yeah, the after the, the jealousy faded. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know that... His friend would drive her car around like a parking lot. What? Because you know he's young, he can't drive it. You drive in a parking lot, so they could do it in the back seat. Wait, Whoa. how old was his friend? Fourteen. So I imagine they're about the same she age. Should have went to jail and, for and sure. Honest, though, you're 12, 13, 14. It doesn't matter. And you're driving while your friend is, you know, getting it on with like a hot white girl, or even if she's not hot, yeah, she could be ugly. You are looking. You are not driving. Rear view yeah, mirror. You, are, you are looking, yeah. But you have to think like a kid, right? If you're stationary in one spot, you can get caught. Moving target. <laughs> yeah, you can't get caught. How are you going to get me? <laughs> yeah. That was her? Yeah. She's pretty. Wow. Girl next door right there. So you know she got pregnant from, from the kid, and then on a conjugal, she got pregnant again. Oh, and shit. And I think they have like two or three kids, and then when he became, what, like 30? or like late 20s, early 30s, he divorced her. Whoa. And I think I know why. Forget about irreconcilable differences. I'm sure there's that. Because yeah. you know, they realize they, they now know each other and they don't like each other. But now, Letourneau is probably like 50. Yeah. yeah. And he's looking around going, yeah. wait a minute yeah. here. Or, or he became 30 and was like, yo, I can't believe you let me fuck you in the backseat of your car while my friend yeah, yeah. drove you around. That's pretty crazy already. No, no, he's like, I need to fuck a 20 year old. It's just not doing it for me. Yeah. <laughs> because you know, and you know white women don't age like Asian women do. How old, how old was this? Yeah, well, white like women age like almost like regularly. Asian women old age like immediately after like menopause. Yeah. And they like go downhill it's with a steep drop, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. But they look really good in their 40s and stuff almost. Yeah. And then so average. you know that kid was just like, he caught some one day, and then that steep drop happened. He's like, whoa, oh, okay, we got, we got a divorce. <laughs> Let's have an honest conversation, though, as men. Yeah. Would you guys fuck Sarah Palin? Because I still think she's hot. <laughs> I haven't Sarah seen a Palin. recent picture of her. When she was campaigning? No, oh, yeah. Oh, so you're not asking if we already did. <laughs> did you fuck Sarah Palin? I cannot say I did or did not. That's hey, really that's cool. cool, though. That's chill. That's How would did you maybe fuck her, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Supposedly. If you did. How did I maybe? Yeah. Moose style? <laughs> She's a laugh. I couldn't do Korean style. What's Korean, Korean style? style? She didn't deserve that. Dude, yeah. She's attractive. 100%. She, yeah. she also has fucking labia neck, though. Labia Which neck? Kind of fire. Like, is that, kind of fire. She kind of works for her. But you know, there's something about whether you, okay, who, who's like, let's say Marjorie Taylor Greene was like hot. 
I haven't seen her. What's she look like? She that? she's the congresswoman. That she's on is Vampire like, Diaries. Yeah, super like she's anti-vaccine, anti-virus, and also like. What's anti-virus? Isn't everybody she's anti-virus? anti-virus. <laughs> she doesn't like, think, think it's real. Oh. And then like she's like you know she's little to mildly to severely racist. But but let's say but let's say she's we gotta hot. figure a scale for that. Yeah, this one right here. Let's say she's hot. I'm sure people find her attractive. But let's say she's hot. She's there's something girl. about sleeping with a celebrity though. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lure. Yeah, there's a lure. To, that's why for a congresswoman. For a congresswoman, so powerful, there's yeah. a power behind yeah. it. And so like I, my guess is because I, I feel like people in like that po- that position, they're 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 getting some. Yeah, you know. I I'd, I'd sleep with them if they could hurry up and help me with my. Um, build yeah. for my business because it's been taking too long. Well, you know the pages. I mean, they don't even get to say whether they want to fuck or not. Most of the time, that's why they have a congressional slush fund to pay for all the fucking sexual abuse allegations. Probably, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. I mean, because like, look at these women in Congress or in power, and I'm not saying all of them. And so, please don't think I'm I'm, I'm like anti-feminist not or all of them, misogynist. But just like which ones? Just like you yeah. know, a couple of them. But like, you know, let's say like some of them are lonely because their husbands neglect them. Mm-hmm. And the easiest access, like with Clinton, the easiest access was his intern, Monica Lewinsky. That was the easiest. Maybe he didn't want to like go through all the hassle of getting people, whatever, whatever the reasons are. But they're there. Yeah. If they have like an intern yeah. or a page or whatever, they're there. Yeah. And if they're willing, and they're, you know, for guys and girls, yeah, I can't judge them. It's so convenient because I have way more power than them. So it's like you know, if they say no, like I can destroy your life. No, yeah. I can fire <laughs> them. Uh, well, end your fucking life. <laughs> I heard in politics, it, it was actually a, a really like down low situation with a lot of uh, gay dudes. Mm, yeah, yeah. Like they're uh, oh. they're they're in the closet. A lot of politicians are yeah. enjoying life, but yeah. but they're afraid to come out. Yeah. See, Monica was a yes every time for me. People made fun of her in the 90s. I remember Jay Leno and everybody, all the, all the late night comics making fun of her and stuff, but she's a oh, thing. There's crazy. something about that political look where it's like, man, you ain't that fucking like tidy and stuff. Like, come on, you a, you a dirty girl. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's dirt. the fact that they probably graduated from one of the top universities and they're probably like educated and well learned. And you know, there's that going on. Oh yeah, because you're like fucking prestigious things. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like oh. the Robin Wright shit. You ever mm. watch that show? What the fuck is it called? The political one on Netflix. The the one on Netflix that she was on with Kevin Spacey's. Oh wow. Oh, House, House of Cards. House of Cards. Yeah. She, was she was so hot. fucking fire, bro. Yeah. I was House like, of Whoa. Cards. Well, on that show, they're fucking all the time. They're doing all oh, kind of weird, creepy suits. shit. And, and yeah, to what Joe was saying, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. Spe- speaking yeah. of yeah, ch- yeah. child caressers. Oh Ooh. yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Kid Diddler, yeah. And great actors. Yeah. yeah. And great actors. He's, pre- he's, he's pretty good. He's, really he's good. pretty good. Hey, his uh, when he when he got uh, pretty much caught and he had to admit it and he gave that last uh, yeah. video speech of him in character. <laughs> yeah. Fucking good, dude. Creepy, good. but good. With a southern accent? Yeah. Why did he do that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Was that necessary? Does anyone know yet? Because I, I, I think, to me, his narcissism is so huge yeah. that he's just like, you know what? He's like, this will fix everything. Yeah, this, 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 <laughs> good dude, imagine thinking you're that tight, dude. Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. dude, I'm sick. Watch this shit. <laughs> it's like, what the it, fuck? It was... It was kind of cool. (laughs) He got Anthony. Anthony's on board. I was like, why would you do this? But fuck, that's interesting. Well, I was like, well, half of me was like, is this a deep fake? Like, is this real? Like, I can't believe this is actually happening. That was nuts. He's nuts. Didn't, like, some of his accusers get killed or something like that? Yeah, somebody. So he made a weird veiled threat in that video, and then people have taken it to, like, of course, of course. People People take things, like, Unnecessarily too far. They'll read into it. You know, it's, it's all those like, internet sleuths. It's That's like it he's My telling favorite. me to do this. Like he's telling me to kill somebody. Okay, first of all, he's not. But second of all, even if he was, why are you doing this? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're acting like he's Jesus or some shit. <laughs> Ask John Hinckley Jr., bro. He, he tried to shoot Ronald Reagan because he's like, Jody Foster wants me to murder. Ronald Reagan, okay? That's what's going on in my, that's what's going on, you understand? And he's, and he's right in his mind. Yeah, he's like, I'm correct about this, by the way. She told me through watching her, so that's all I know. That's you see what you want to see, crazy, huh? man. And as independent as we like to believe we are in America, as Americans, like, you know, that's why we, we, we won't wear masks, because you can't tell me what to do. But yet, if Jody Foster tells you to do something, you gotta do it. Hold but it it's Jody Foster. Foster. Jody Foster. Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, that's like Dave Chappelle with the whole bit, like, Ja Rule, we need Ja Rule. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> ja Rule think about 9-11. <laughs> fucking Ja Rule think. That's America, dude, straight up. I don't give a fuck about you, yeah. fucking president, all right? Tell me, Mariah Carey, how do you feel about COVID right now? Back when on the news, they would bring them in onto the news stories and ask them questions. 
Ja Rule. See, see Jody, yeah. But it wasn't this Jody Foster though. I think I know, it, but it, I like it was, was super yeah. fresh Jody Foster. Super. <laughs> wasn't it like it was, she was even younger, younger right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I, it, yeah, that's the thing. Is like, okay, if, if you're a little nuts and you don't know you're nuts and you hear voices and you hear Jodie Foster tell you this, okay, that's cool. Well, whatever. You believe, you you know, yeah. I believe. That's that totally you, chill, yeah. I yeah. believe that you believe it. Yeah. yeah but yeah. then once they tell you to do something, wh where, where do all your, like, you know, guards go where it's like, Clearly. nah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Like, you can't tell me what to do. But yeah. Like, Jody, okay. <laughs> that's why I guess I'm, I'm so such a big fan. That's why yeah. I guess I'm so disappointed sometimes when I hear things because. You remember when Nancy Kerrigan got taken out with the pipe? Yeah, yeah. And like, you know, all Tanya Harding had to do was be like, yo, Jodie Foster fucking told me. That it have been cool. It's already baked into the cake. Everyone's like, dude, Jodie Foster's telling people to do some fucked up shit. <laughs> Jodie Foster's kind of fucked up, yeah. dude. We should cancel her, yo. You know, at least one news organization is gonna be like, you know, Maybe it is Jodie Foster. Yeah, we, you know, yeah, all you need is yeah. one. Someone's gonna run with it. Yeah. There's gonna be a couple articles. Yep. You know, it's, I need Jesse Waters to tell me about what's going on with Jodie Foster. Oh my God. <laughs>